Watch this free presentation and discover the number one lie fed to you by Hollywood that's keeping you single or in an unhealthy, unhappy relationship and take back control of your love life. Most of all, I'm scared of walking out of this room and never feeling the rest of my whole life the way I feel when I'm with you. Brave, and uh, I can be light on my feet. I can be whatever you want. You just tell me what you want, and I'll be there for you. I love you. You complete. Don't you just love romantic movies? If only real life were like that. I still remember when I first saw Jerry Maguire in the movie theater, every woman let out a sigh as they swooned over that now classic line, you complete me. And who wouldn't want a man to profess his love that way? After all the cheesy pickup lines, the lame first date conversations, the practically illiterate text messages, not to mention the mean words, the put-downs, and the cruel things that men have said that have broken your heart, who wouldn't want a man to look her in the eye and say, you complete me? Well, believe it or not, I wouldn't. Not today. Now that I'm in a healthy relationship with the love of my life, I know now that I would never, ever want him to tell me I complete him. And once you understand more about the love lie that Hollywood and society has been feeding us for so long, you will agree that you complete me is one of the most dangerous phrases that one human being could ever say to another. I'll get into that in just a minute. But back in my drama-filled dating days, before I knew about the big lie, I would have given anything to have a man speak to me that way. In fact, when I got dumped out of the blue by the man that I thought I would spend the rest of my life with, I used to console myself by eating pints of caramel fudge swirl ice cream and watching movies like The Notebook and Jerry Maguire, longing for the kind of love that would really last. I was so bitter and hurt from years of relationships gone wrong, I was starting to wonder whether true, lasting love even existed. Can you relate? I thought so. So what was I doing wrong? I was a smart woman with a great career and what I thought was a good head on my shoulders. Sure, I wasn't a Victoria's Secret supermodel, but I was attractive enough with a good personality. Why did I keep attracting all the wrong kinds of men? I'll tell you why. But first, you probably want to know who I am. I'm Paige Parker, a dating coach and relationship expert, and my website is one of the most popular destinations on the internet for dating advice for women. So how did someone like me, who used to be a total dating disaster, become a dating coach? giving advice and helping hundreds of thousands of women worldwide find the love of their dreams? I took my years of life experience and set out on a quest to learn from my own mistakes, which eventually led me to unlocking the secret to understanding men and having a completely drama-free love life. Wait a minute, did I just say that I know the secret to actually understanding men? Yes, you heard me right and I'm going to reveal it right here in this video in just a few moments. But first, let's get back to the journey that led me here, since where I began is probably a lot like where you are right now. So, as I said, in my drama-filled dating days, I always attracted the wrong kinds of men. It's funny to look back on it now, but my list of exes reads like a who's who of who not to date. Here are some of the guys I fell for. Let's see how many are on your list, too. There was the dude with no ambition. You know, the guy you think is so cool until your friends and family meet him and say, you could do so much better than this guy. 
but of course, you can't let yourself believe them. Plus, you see so much more in him than anyone else does. Next step was the guy who just wants to be friends with benefits. The guy with the drinking problem. Ah, yes. So rewarding to have what you thought was a romantic night filled with deep conversation about the future of your relationship. And then he wakes up in the morning, pukes, and is completely unable to recall anything that happened the night before. What a keeper! It's no shocker that I also fell in love with the man who cheated on me. And I was even foolish enough to take him back. At which point, you guessed it, he cheated again. What's that saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Bah, anyway, moving on. I'm embarrassed to admit that I also fell for the psychological abuser. I really hope he's not on your list, but sadly, most women have one of these guys in their past. Someone who is controlling, emotionally manipulative, and is so insecure about himself and your relationship that he puts you down, hoping to convince you to stay because you'll never do better than him. Believe it or not, I also had a relationship with the closeted gay guy. Yep, you'd think I would have gotten the hint when many of our dates began with a Broadway musical, but most ended with not much more than a hug and a peck on the cheek. Wow, this guy really respects me, I'd think. Five dates and he still hasn't tried to make a move? Well, I'd better do something to make myself more appealing or we're gonna get stuck in the friend zone. Jeez, Paige, seriously? Listen, I could go on, but clearly you've gotten the picture here. I was a bad guy magnet. And when I was in these relationships, one after another, without ever taking a breather, I would do everything in my power to try to make them work out. I felt that the fate of these relationships all rested on my ability to become the perfect girlfriend for these guys. Often, this would involve what I call shape-shifting or becoming someone I really wasn't just to please them. Even when I would accidentally stumble into a relationship with a good guy, you know, a decent man who actually loved and cared about me, I would still make the same mistakes, being needy, clingy, wanting to spend all my time with him, not simply because I enjoyed him so much, but because it gave me some odd illusion of control over the relationship. Like if I was always around, he couldn't lose interest, fall out of love, or cheat on me. Ugh, it's so hard to admit this, but it's the truth. I wasn't always like this, mind you. During those brief times when I was single, I had a pretty great life. I had a glamorous job that I loved and I was good at. I had fun, interesting friends. I liked to keep healthy by working out. I had lots of hobbies and interests. But then a guy would come along and suddenly, poof, the real Paige was gone, replaced by some psycho, needy girlfriend who had no life outside her relationship. It's no wonder they wouldn't last. How could they? These weren't true partnerships. These were soul-sucking, codependent unions of two people who had no business being in a relationship with one another. I was walking around with a gaping hole in my heart, desperate for some man to fill it up with love and reassurance. I had no self-esteem, and rather than working on getting some, I made it a man's responsibility to make me feel good about myself. What I would soon discover is that this neediness, this tendency to abandon my own life and meld it with another person, is what was making me a bad man magnet. I was attracting men who also had gaping holes in their hearts, men with all kinds of emotional baggage, who were more than happy to dump it in my lap and then forge ahead with a sick, twisted relationship where we both tried to fix each other. These always, always ended in complete disaster. And remember how I told you that I would occasionally luck out and date a good guy for a while? Well, these relationships ended the quickest of all because I'd so clearly be looking for the man to fix me. And for someone who actually had his act together, this was just plain creepy. Who would want to be with someone who needed constant attention, affection, encouragement, and even entertainment? These healthy guys would hit the road after only a date or two, and who could blame them? Now, I know my story is pretty dramatic, but 
I'm willing to bet that there are some elements of it that you can really relate to. Some parts of my story probably had you nodding your head thinking, wow, I've been there. You may even be there right now. And I'm here to tell you that if that's the case, you can let yourself off the hook. It's not your fault. Just like me, you and all of womankind have been lied to by Hollywood and society. And it all comes back to that seemingly romantic sentiment in Jerry Maguire. You complete me. When we search for love, we're looking for someone to fill us up and make us whole. We've been confused into thinking that our happiness is someone else's responsibility. And so we put ourselves out there on the dating scene, hitting the bars and clubs, begging our friends to set us up with acquaintances and coworkers, searching through hundreds of men's dating profiles online, all in the hopes that we'll find the perfect man, the missing puzzle piece, our other half, our better half. Well, guess what? It doesn't matter how you choose to look for love. When you seek love from a place within of neediness and insecurity, you are setting yourself up for complete and total failure each and every time. You've been doing this for years, probably since you started dating as a teenager. Most of us have. So what's the antidote to this devastating lie? The truth that will set you free and allow you to have the real, true, forever partnership with a man who loves you for you. Well, it's a two-part solution. Are you ready? To have the relationship of your dreams, you need to, number one, understand men better. Number two, love yourself more. Whether this seems shockingly simple to you or completely overwhelming, you don't need to worry about a thing. I'm going to teach you how to make these two things happen faster than you could ever imagine. How am I so confident that I can help you achieve a committed, drama-free relationship? I discovered a secret that completely transformed my life and since then has transformed the lives of hundreds of thousands of women all over the world. Here's how it happened. Remember earlier in this video when I explained in embarrassing detail what a dating disaster I once was? Well, I eventually hit rock bottom, but rather than simply accepting the fate that I would either suffer through one dysfunctional relationship after another, or worse, end up alone, I decided to do something about it. I knew that I needed to make a change. It helped that I'd always been interested in psychology, especially in the differences between the way men and women think and act. Even when I wasn't in a toxic relationship, I was always reading every self-help book I could get my hands on. I devoured psychology texts and magazines too, and I was always taking notes. I became fascinated by studies that explained how strongly men's and women's behavior is driven by our biological makeup. I realized that the way that I was acting in relationships was pushing men away simply because they were biologically wired to pursue me. And I made myself far too available for them to enjoy the pursuit. And my constant need to talk about my feelings or be reassured about where the relationship was headed, well, I was causing a biological reaction that would literally shut down a part of my guy's brain, making him unable to hear me or give me what I needed. I started recognizing that with each totally dysfunctional relationship, I was making the same mistakes over and over again. And when I thought about it, I realized that my friends were struggling with the same issues and questions. Why don't quality men approach me? Why didn't he call when he said he would? We had an amazing first date. Why didn't he ask me out again? I thought things were going so well. Why did he suddenly disappear? Why is he so hesitant to define the relationship or commit to me? Why does he shut down when I get emotional? Things always feel worse after a fight. Will we ever learn to communicate effectively? He acted like he was in love with me, but he never said so. So I told him first. Why did he freak out? Every time we get close, 
He suddenly pulls back and needs space? What's that about? Will he ever want to marry me? Or is he just waiting for someone better to come along? It finally dawned on me that almost all of my love troubles could be boiled down to this. I was ignoring the fact that men and women think, act, and communicate differently. And it wasn't just me. As women, we often speak in our own language and expect a man to understand. Suddenly, my search for answers for myself became something much bigger. A fact-finding mission for all women who were looking for love, but not finding the relationships they deserved. The more I learned about how a man's mind worked, the more I realized why our relationships weren't working. I had an epiphany. If women could do two things, number one, discover the importance of our self-worth and do whatever it takes to recognize our unique beauty and become the confident, secure women that we were created to be. And number two, learn to understand how men think so that we can behave and communicate in ways that men are actually responsive to rather than always relying on our not-so-healthy instincts. Then we might just be able to avoid dating drama for good. Right around the time I had this epiphany, I had just met a really great guy. I wanted to test my new theory, and I figured that my old ways weren't working, so I decided to give it a shot. Right away, I noticed an extraordinary difference in how I felt. Rather than obsessing over whether this guy liked me, I chose to focus on believing in how special, fun, and interesting I am and waited for him to prove that he was worthy of spending my precious time with me. This shift in attitude filled me with confidence and made me feel powerful and in control. I didn't give in to feelings of neediness or desperation. I didn't call him incessantly or try to manipulate the situation to get him to ask me out. I didn't wait by the phone. I made a concerted effort to enjoy my life. I hung out with my girlfriends, I took up spinning at the gym. I did lots of activities that I loved. When he'd call to ask me on a date, I'd have to check my busy calendar to find time to go out. He took note of this and it was driving him crazy in a good way. He found me exciting, interesting, and he loved my confidence and independence. I had a wonderful life that he wanted to be a part of. As time went on, things got more serious between us. And as all couples do, we had the occasional argument. But rather than reverting to my old ways and getting emotional, crying, and giving in just to put an end to the disagreement, I learned how to listen, to speak my mind, and to come to a compromise. I no longer tried to avoid conflict out of fear that I would be abandoned or rejected. Now I realize that I was a phenomenal woman, and if a little conflict was going to send this guy running that he wasn't worth my time anyway. If I gained nothing more than the experience of being involved in a healthy relationship where I respected myself and felt fulfilled, both within myself and from my partner, my dating without drama experiment would have been a success. But I have even further proof that my method works and works every day. My dream man and I are happily married. After seeing my radical transformation from dating disaster to happy, healthy married woman, many of my single friends were eager to try the dating without drama way. So I shared my newfound technique and one by one, I saw each of their love lives change virtually overnight. I had done it. I had unlocked the secret to dating without drama. It felt like the most important accomplishment of my life. I soon realized that this secret was too good to keep to myself. I wanted to share this powerful knowledge with every woman I could find. I immediately thought of the internet, the magical medium that allows people from all over the world to connect with one another instantly. I would write an ebook that people could have instant access to in the privacy of their own home, day or night. So I got to work. I broke down the dating experience from single and skeptical to confident and committed, recording every secret and strategy I knew to make each phase simple, straightforward, and easy to apply regardless of your current dating status. I addressed 
all the concerns and questions that friends had come to me with over the years, as well as some tough issues that plagued me while I was on the dating scene. I interviewed hundreds of men to get their honest opinion of how they felt about things like attraction, flirting, calling, who should ask who out, intimacy, communication, breakups, dating after divorce, and more. I put myself in the shoes of every woman who is frustrated and confused with men in relationships. How could I make this easy to understand and apply to everyday life? The result is Dating Without Drama, the essential new rules to help you understand men and succeed at the dating game. I began to offer my program online, thinking that if it helps even one other woman find the relationship she deserved, then it would be worth it. After all, the whole experience really was a labor of love for me. But soon after Dating Without Drama went live online, I was blown away by the emails that started pouring in from women all over the world. Here's one from a woman named Linda. Dear Paige, I'm recently divorced after being married for 30 years. I downloaded your book and ended up reading it and the bonuses in one sitting. Dating? Unfamiliar territory for me. Talk about out of the loop. Yesterday, I noticed all of these wonderful men everywhere I went. I tried your one, three, one second glance technique with a man going in the opposite direction and he beamed at me and tripped. I went into a store and a man walked toward me with his arms open and exclaimed how beautiful I was. I'm very excited about the new path you showed me, Paige. Thank you so very much, Linda. When was the last time a man noticed you from across the room and was so taken with you that he literally tripped over himself to approach you? Linda had never experienced that before, but she deserves it, and so do you. Here's another one of my favorite emails from a woman who tried my Dating Without Drama program. Hi Paige, just a quick note to say that I downloaded your book yesterday and had my first date last night. I know, I'm a quick mover. I have read the first eight chapters and had tons of resistance to the advice, but I know that my way wasn't working, so I ignored my cynicism and gave it a shot. During the date, I felt in control. I didn't waffle. I hadn't obsessed about what to wear. I was relaxed, and most importantly, it was myself. We had a nice evening, and now I'm going to follow the next step and not call, no matter how much I want to. If he's interested, he will call. My friends thank you as they've been trying to get me to believe that I deserve and can have a loving, beautiful relationship. I always date the needy, creative types and wonder why I'm not fulfilled. Next date is this weekend. What a difference a day makes. Best regards, Vanessa. Or how about this one? Hi Paige, I just wanted to contact you to tell you how helpful your book has been to me. Recently, I met a great man and things took off at rocket speed. Everything was going along well and then all of a sudden, I felt him pulling away. My mind was full of questions. Did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Did he lose interest in me? I am so glad that I found your book online. I needed it right then and there. I had a meltdown and I am convinced that your book saved me from making grave mistakes. At first, I was skeptical of your writings. Really, I was, but you have been right on the money. Thank you for showing me the light. One of the things I really appreciate about Dating Without Drama is that it encourages a woman to be independent, do her own things, feel happy, and maintain her integrity and self-respect. A good man is just part of the mix of a fulfilling life. This book has saved me from potential heartache and acting like a drama queen. Believe me, I've had to use restraint, but I can see that by following your advice, I feel confident and full of respect. Finding love takes a lot of guts. All women should prepare themselves by reading this wonderful book, Morgan. There's a quote that goes something like this. A smart woman learns from her own mistakes, but a wise woman learns from others' mistakes. You don't have to suffer through one more dating disaster. You've probably had your fair share, and if not, well, I've done enough of it for you. Here's your opportunity to learn from my mistakes and your own if you're feeling brave enough to take a good, hard look at what's not working in your life. Either way, if you read Dating Without Drama, 
which many women tell me they do in just one sitting because they can't put it down, and you start applying the principles to your life, you will achieve the love life you deserve. Here's just a taste of what you'll learn in my program. How to break the vicious cycle of W's. Wishing he'd ask for your number, waiting for him to call, wondering where their relationship is going, and worrying that he'll never commit. The key to a successful love life. Here's a hint. It's not about being lucky enough to find the perfect man. Men's six secret commitment fears exposed. How to date confidently without being controlled by your emotions. The scientific explanation of why men pull away just as things start to get serious. The key to having a relationship that doesn't feel like work. The calling game decoded when to expect he'll call you. The crucial difference between infatuation and real attachment. The secret to being in control of a relationship. How to encourage a man to ask you out on a date without scaring him off. The secrets to getting and keeping the love you deserve. 10 ways to tell if a guy is boyfriend material. The 10 do's and don'ts of a first date without drama. How to handle post-date phone calls, emails, and texts, or what to do if he's not contacting you at all. How to decode men's behavior by understanding their biology. What the conversation is and why it's never a good idea. Why dating more than one man can lead you straight to the one. How to analyze your first date from your perspective and his. The key to meeting someone in any location or situation. Why women aren't designed for no strings attached or friends with benefits relationships. Five questions you can ask to tell whether he's ready to commit. Why it can be dangerous to act on your instincts. The toolkit for effective communication. How to stop feelings of neediness, loneliness, and desperation forever. What instantly turns men off. The key to healthy intimacy. The five stages of defining and redefining your relationship and how to handle them without screwing it up. Eight signs that you're official even before he's asked you to be exclusive. How to take responsibility for your own happiness. Essential guidelines for meeting the friends and family his and yours. Five concrete ways to show him that you are girlfriend material. Five signs he's about to profess his love to you. And so much more I cannot list it all in this video. If you're ready to learn all of these secrets and radically transform your love life from dating disaster to drama-free relationship queen, go ahead and click that button below. Now, I'm a woman just like you, so I know how much we love extra bonuses and treats. Like when the department store cosmetics counter gives away free samples with purchase. Isn't that the best? Well, when you order now, I'll include three amazing bonuses that have real, tangible value in helping you get the love you deserve. Here are my free gifts to you. Number one, Reflections and Revelations, a Dater's Self-Discovery Guide. Get ready for 50 thought-provoking pages of quizzes, checklists, worksheets, and journal prompts to help you analyze your current dating life and put into practice the new techniques you're learning. It sells on its own for $19.95, but I'm throwing it in free for you today. Gift number two, my special report, 10 men who are not boyfriend material and how to identify them. Learn how to spot and steer clear from men who aren't capable or worthy of a long-term relationship with a fabulous woman like you. Regularly, it's $12.95, but it's free to you as part of this special package. And finally, number three, the wildly popular Man to English Dictionary. This essential reference tool helps you understand what a man actually means when he says everyday phrases like, I'll call you, or I need some space. Okay. So you're sick of being alone. You're tired of the lies. You know what you've been doing all along isn't working for you. So you're ready to check out dating without drama and experience those drastic results that everyone's talking about. Wait a minute. I see you with your car keys in your hand, ready to sprint out the door and drive to the closest bookstore. Guess what? You can stay right where you are. See, I'm all about making your life easier. 
Forget hiding beneath a baseball cap in the self-help section of Barnes & Noble, hoping you won't bump into your ex and be mortified with embarrassment. Dating Without Drama is an ebook, which means you don't have to go anywhere to buy it or wait for it to be shipped to you. You can download it to your computer, Kindle, or iPad and start reading it right now. It couldn't be simpler. Here's how it works. When you click on the order button below, see it right there? You'll go to my secure order page. Once your order has been approved, you can immediately download the materials directly to your computer or wireless device and be reading the book in just about five minutes. And don't worry about a thing, your transaction is secure. You can feel safe knowing that your order information is transmitted using the latest SSL encryption technology to ensure complete and total privacy and security. The process is simple, and in just minutes, you'll be on your way to learning how to make the love life you've always dreamed of a reality. But what if it doesn't work for me, you may be asking. Well, if you're willing to read Dating Without Drama, and here's the important part, apply the principles to your life, then there's absolutely no reason why it won't. In fact, I'm so confident that it will work, I offer a 100% money-back guarantee. Here's the deal. There are a lot of books about relationships out there, and you probably read a ton of them. Most of them have been useless, right? Because I'm so certain that mine is the one book that will actually make a drastic, positive impact on your dating life, I want you to try Dating Without Drama risk-free. It will transform your approach to relationships and make you a more confident, happier dater, or I'll refund every penny of your money and you can keep the book and bonus treats as my gift to you. If you don't love it, you don't pay. Talk about a no-brainer. All right, I've had a great time dishing with you, but before I go, I want to leave you with one last thought. What is it worth to you to finally achieve the connected, committed, passionate, romantic, fulfilling relationship you've dreamt about since you were a little girl? Think about it. Listen, we've all been there, driven to devour a whole pint of ice cream when a guy doesn't call when he says he will, pouring out our sorrows to our girlfriends over multiple martinis when yet another blind date goes bad, listening to our breakup mix over and over while obsessing over what went wrong this time. And never mind how much time and energy you've put into these rituals, think of how much money you've wasted. Now, what would it be worth to you to have a dating life that is fun, fulfilling, exciting, empowering, and in your control? You'd spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars without even blinking an eye. After all, what's more important in life than finding that partner that you can share forever with? Well, the good news is, dating without drama won't cost you thousands of dollars. It won't cost you hundreds of dollars. Actually, you've probably spent more on Starbucks this week than my life-changing book will cost you. Here's a real email from a reader who's sure glad that she's made the investment in her life. Hi Paige, I read your book about five years ago just before I started dating Mark, so it was perfect timing looking back. I want to say thank you with all of my heart for teaching and opening my eyes to so many things that I didn't pay attention to before. I have learned so much about myself, men, and relationships. Now it's my turn to write that I'm getting married next month. He is an amazing man, great sense of humor, kind, intelligent, humble, and very handsome. Without a doubt, Mr. Right for me. But most of all, he accepts me as I am. He respects me and adores me. We have been together for four and a half years in a very happy, drama-free relationship that is unbelievable. I never imagined a relationship could be like this. Every woman, single or not, must read your book and keep it handy. I keep recommending it to my friends. Regards from the UK, Jandia. If, like Jandia, you're ready to find a man who accepts you for who you are, adores you, and can't wait to marry you, no coercion or ultimatums required, then Dating Without Drama is for you. Let's get you started on the fast track to a loving relationship right now. Go ahead and, number one, click the instant download button below. See it right there? Number two, download your copy of Dating Without Drama plus the three bonus guides. And number three, 
Try one or two of the techniques I teach you in the first chapters. Try them tomorrow if possible. And remember, if dating without drama doesn't dramatically improve your love life like it has for me and for hundreds of thousands of women, let me know and I'll let you keep it for free. So there's absolutely nothing to lose except the heartache, loneliness, and sleepless nights. I'll leave you with this. Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Does your love life feel a little bit like Groundhog Day? Every morning you wake up and you feel like you're repeating the same frustrating behaviors over and over again and the results are always the same? You try and try to attract good men and you fail to get their attention. You find yourself in one unhealthy relationship after another and wonder why things always end so badly. You try to take control of your love life and you find that taking the reins to pursue men only seems to push them further away. You have bought into the big lie and you have made it your quest to find the man who completes you, yet it's only left you feeling even more empty and alone. Well then, it's time to finally stop the insanity and try something that actually works for women like you. If you're willing to forget the lies you've bought into in the past, and replace the behaviors that haven't been working for you with new ones that I am going to teach you, then you can have everything you've ever wanted from a loving, long-term relationship. I guarantee it. Click the instant download button to grab your copy of the revolutionary Dating Without Drama and let's get started. I can't wait to take this journey with you and I'll be watching my inbox for your success story soon. This is Paige Parker wishing you all of the love you deserve with none of the drama.